scientific, test test a scientific control. I already, know what it is. I already know what it is, and I already, I can already, I can already tell. Now that's a nice monster. Okay. Now it's this is in season. This was a good year. Oh, it's an in season monster. Well, yeah. There's the, see you're 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 making fun of the progress, the process now. Okay. Actually, let me do it because I'm sitting Again. down and I'm I'm right handed. Let me do it. Again, let me do none it. None of these are. So we've got a nice lime green, that neon green alien piss color. Oh God. Let me know whenever so I should bad. stop pouring. Uh, oh, it's foaming up. Yeah, it's foaming up nice. Not she's foaming up real nice. Okay. Is that is that good? Welcome, 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 everybody, to once again the Noisy Business Podcast. I am your host, Brayton, along with my co-host, Sean. And as always, we are happy that you have returned once again, potentially, if you uh, have been listening. Or if you're a new listener, if we welcome brand, you. Exactly. If you're a brand new listener, thanks for jumping in. Yeah. we got a very special episode for you guys this week. We're going to be talking about police corruption potentially once again we're gonna go into the dark and dirty politics mm -hmm. of the uh, corporate police officers and the bureaucracy and the do's and do nots of that apparently there was a lot of do's <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're gonna be a little bit more on that later sean is going to introduce us to a new beverage i can't wait and uh, we're going to have a little bit of uh, some explanations. We're going to have a lot of energy, apparently. We're going to mm -hmm. see there's going to be a whole taste test. And if you are listening into the podcast right now, if you want to jump over to YouTube, we're going to have the whole thing on YouTube. If you look up Noisy Business Podcast, we are on there as well. So, Sean, let us begin with what we are here for today. <sighs> I'm here for so or, many or should reasons. I, or should I? Or should I bring this forward? Uh, which which topic are, are okay. we jumping into first? I think we're gonna need to do a brew. Okay. Uh, uh, real quick and sure. And then, All right, uh, you guys. And then we can. And then while that is cooking, going, sure, it'll, we can and, talk about. The and other, then it'll be ready things. for for our enjoyment. Our consumption. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Sure. So we'll okay. go. We'll jump into the. So. And I'll, I'll I'll set that up while you're while you're kind of getting this ready on okay. our Mister Coffee. Not a sponsor. Not no, a sponsor. Mister Coffee. Nor is the. Uh, pre forementioned uh, non, monster energy non discreet drinks. monster energy so drinks. If you go to our YouTube channel, if you aren't, if you are just listening, we have for on, a very first time. It's just very, for exciting. very first time. We're doing a little bit. We're doing a, new, a, a little new bit thing. of um. I would say groundbreaking science experiment. Except it's an experiment that's I've already done personally, but now we're ready to release this into the world. Let everybody enjoy it for what it could be so let me set this up yeah exactly because this is your thing this is not my thing i do not right, want right, right. any association so with any it. exactly i want to take full credit for this okay <laughs> okay i'm we'll not see. responsible for any you know side effects or immediate aggressive bowel movements that might be happening now during or after conception <laughs> so like brayton said not a sponsor monster energy drinks let's go ahead and start with the some common ground Everybody has beverages that they prefer to be enjoyed best cold or hot. But we already know that there's beverages such as, you know, the most popular beverage in the world, coffee, one Correct. of your favorite beverages. Of course. You can enjoy it hot in the morning, you know, mm -hmm. really a nice strong cup of joe to kind of like get your head on straight in the morning, get you focused, get you stoked for the day. Or, you know, you could enjoy it uh, iced like a college girl, you know, you have your iced latte in the afternoon. A nice little afternoon pick me up is sometimes the highlight of everybody's day. So for sure. Spring, why summer fall? Exactly. So same thing goes for tea, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on and on. Yes. So really my my highly evolved scientific, never ending curious brain thought, why would we stop at coffee as far as our caffeine? And why would we hold ourselves back with just tea with hot or iced options whenever everybody's just assuming that a, a you know an energy drink has to be enjoyed cold, you know, because well, you, you buy, buy it, it. You buy it. Sometimes it's already in the fridge. Sometimes it's okay. Sure, Sean. Mm -hmm. Practically always in the fridge, unless you're buying it by the caseload. Right. They, and then it, it is out in the open. But I'm going to tell you right until now, now. I'm going to tell you right now, though. It's because the cases don't fit in the in the fridge. The fr not because they're not meant to be in the fridge. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be in the fridge. Sure, 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 sure. They're sure. supposed to be served cold. So let me tell you my whole um, Sir Isaac Newton 
situation. Except instead of a nice okay, old yes, no, uh, no. instead of a nice old apple falling on my head, this involved a hot summer day in San Diego and somebody forgetting to bring his energy drink inside. Okay, but first off, l- 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 before we go too far, Sean is talking. Yeah, about cut me off how, again. Go ahead. <laughs> Sean is talking about how Monster Energy drinks are are good because he's had it this way. They're good hot. hot he likes energy. to have a. a Piping hot monster energy. What I like to do in the morning is, you know, sidestep the cup of coffee, jump right into a piping hot brood, which we're going to do live. At at least live for us. We're going to brew this thing up to a piping hot hundred plus degrees. Maybe it's I don't gonna know be if, smoking. I don't know what these. Uh, so yeah, so some people are going to be like, "Well, what about the carbonation and the caffeine?" And there's a little bit. No, 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 no. You're already thinking too much, friend. Because like I already perfectly established, coffee has caffeine. You can have that hot bean juice, hot or iced. It's delicious either way. So if you are already somebody that enjoys, you know, starting your day off with cracking open a cold monstrosity. Maybe you would enjoy throwing that in your, you know, your Mister Coffee or whatever you have. Maybe a French press. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but how did you stumble but... upon it? Okay, because so, when you told me you you uh, we were uh, out driving about with another friend of ours, okay, and uh, you had just casually mm-hmm. said, "I like to have a hot monster every once in a while." Now, what I think actually that is true, but right before that, you forgot the most important thing because we were driving around, like you said, with yeah. our buddy, and I said. Uh, I'm going to make $40 million. And you were like, what? And I was like, oh, yeah, I stumbled upon this new thing. It's the best new way to enjoy energy drinks. Yeah. And yeah. both of us, uh, well, you, no, keep going. I'm right. my bad. Right, right, right. Because, yeah, you didn't interject yet. And I was like, 40 million, you said, okay, hot energy drinks. I was like, listen. And I did the like whole spiel. A hot you energy. can have it cold or you can have it hot. Turns out it's just as delicious hot. And then you said, you're an insane person. Right. And you you probably kill people. I said, all right, you are, I'll prove you, you wrong. You are crazy. I'll prove you wrong. No, but the thing that the, the thing that you, like Sir Isaac Newton, you said, mm-hmm. as the apple fell on his head, mm-hmm. you described that you stumbled upon this thing by... On a hot summer afternoon On a hot San summer Diego. afternoon, mm-hmm. not like, hey, let me just throw this in my cooker like we're going to be doing. Sure. You had it already pre-cooking... In your this vehicle, was, in right. your car, you had left. This was a summer a- day in San Diego. Went to the beach. It was in my car with the windows rolled up, no blinds or shades or anything. It was piping hot in there. It was over uh, ninety degrees that day, so it was probably a hundred degrees in my car for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> it did. It was just at a nice good. And I looked at that and I touched Steve. the can and it went oh, ooh, ouch, hot. You know? And I was like, yes. wait a second. Like a child. When's the last time, if any time, anybody's ever cracked open a hot monster? So I cracked it open and on a hot day is the first time I actually tried this. Yeah, you're insane. And I was like, wow, I am this is what Einstein felt like whenever he invented, you know numbers or sure. maybe when sir isaac newton created gravity this yeah. is the sensation that you feel whenever you stumble upon something greater than yourself now my friend uh, our friend and i we ridiculed you that absolutely to no end because this sounds incredibly st- silly stupid and insane like that's it's exactly meant to me <laughs> it's meant to be in a in the fridge and at a nice cold temperature with the carbonation and everything mm. to give Could you be. the the best experience possible. That's why but you have it. That's there. just what you've been told. Now, uh, you said like, don't knock it till you try it, and right. I have absolutely ignored your uh, request mm-hmm. uh, f- completely. A little bit of coffee so, dust in there still. I'm sure that won't. yes. Just so a, I this is a mostly cleaned Mister Coffee. Yeah. So exactly what you just said. It seems. Silly. It seems yeah. arbitrary. You seem stupid. Yeah. Those are literally the exact same things that they told the Wright brothers. And guess what they did? They flew an airplane to outer space <laughs> or what was essentially outer space for back then. I'm on the forefront of scientific discovery and you mocking me is just going to make you super, super stupid when they write a whole chapter about me in history books of and, piping hot monsters. And get so, them billies. So anyway, dollars. Okay, but anyway, so the proof will be in the pudding. So we're the gonna piping be, hot monster pudding. That so is. Let's, let's How open many up, ounces is this? I don't know. Uh, 25 we're, ounces. We're, we've got two two cans of 16 ounces. Yeah. So they're not going to take they're both not gonna, of them. They're Here, not going to. Just for it. cheers. First, I'm going to. I'm not. A nice little. A nice little. 
uh, control you for, for our scientific tester? a scientific control. I already, know what it is. I already know what it is, and I already I can already I can already tell. <sighs> now that's a nice monster. Okay, now yeah. it's this is in season. This was a good year. Oh, it's an in season monster. Well, yeah. There's de- see you you're 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 making fun of the progress the process now. Okay. Look at that lime green color, ladies and gentlemen. Here I'm gonna do like a little bit of an infomercial if you don't block the light too much. Oh sure. Actually, let me do it because I'm sitting Again, down and I'm I'm right handed. Let me do it. Let Again, me do it. None of these are. So we've got a nice lime green, that neon green alien piss color. Oh, God. Let me know whenever so I bad. should stop pouring. Uh, oh, it's foaming up. Yeah, it's foaming up nice. No, she's foaming up real nice. Okay. Is that is that good? Okay. I think, okay. I think that's enough for what we, we need it to be. Okay. So we're going to turn that on. All cool. Right. It's brewing now. All right. We got and we're going to come back to that in a few minutes. Uh, so yeah, we'll, and uh, we'll see it. We'll yeah. see it percolate and uh, oh, I can't wait. Remediate. So anyway, so just hopefully so, just, this thing doesn't explode. Well, I don't know what they we'll got in it on camera. Anymore. Uh, if if it's it's a cheap Mister Coffee thing. Sure. If it works in this, it could work anywhere, which is another thing that could be crazy. So hey, Monster, you're not a sponsor, but um, we hey. Send the check. Oh, We're ready it for goes. it. Oh, she's already dripping. You know what? This reminds me of that one time where we went down to TJ and somebody definitely didn't pay a little extra to have somebody pee on them. <laughs> Spicy hot. All right. So anyway, well, let's go in. There's <sighs> other breaking news. Yes. Tell us all about it. All right. The memes are going crazy. News articles are going left and right being shared. Everybody's laughing about the scandal that's happening out of a suburb of Tennessee regarding a... Now, ex officer, uh, May Megan Hall, M A E G A N, Megan Hall. Okay. She was a police officer. Found out there's this whole sexual scandal and conspiracy. And oh, your Mister Coffee has a UTI. I can tell. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> so, that so thing looks speaking so bad. of UTIs, let's go back to Megan Hall. <laughs> okay. So basically, do you want what do you want a a PG a PG thirteen or a rated R? So this like, is an expli- explicit podcast, but I need to first mm-hmm. mention that the aromas of this monster is already permeating this room. the The paint is starting to melt. It literally, a little bit it literally smells like a monster is just. <laughs> pissing it smells like a monster candle to me actually oh oh I, you you want I some of my like oh maybe we'll maybe we'll make some sub products of monster mm. essential oils mm. now is it is the plastic supposed to be melting that way <laughs> i'm <laughs> sure this dude, is this is this probably is making, safe for consumption dude, i think we re- we found out why they put monster in a black can because if you saw yourself drinking this out of a clear it, glass <laughs> You're drinking that TJ piss, baby. <laughs> exactly. This thing might have COVID in it. Hang on. So are we gonna are we gonna have to put the no, Megan no, no, Hall on the no, back burner? No, no. no. Let's let's let, let, we we still got a, sure, a whole yeah, ten yeah. more. It's just like you go. guys are hanging out in the room with us. Exactly. Hey, anything that's gonna happen is gonna happen. So anyway, yeah. Megan Hall, young um young female police officer, basically scandal. Several people, I think now five people fired, several others let go from the sure. police um, force without pay, suspended without pay and uh basically the controversy was on the clock she was engaging in inappropriate sexual acts with fellow police officers yes Brady. question um what is considered a sexually inappropriate act for during me on the clock for, for a cop for me it's when the penis Which, goes in <laughs> Ooh, Thank you, so, Parks and Rec. Hey, that's 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 a quote cool. <laughs> for me. It's when the penis goes in. So, um, so no, no, no. Um, as far as I could tell from my, uh, you know, like uh, had, she, my research, she was blowing other cops in the in the squad cars. Oh, I know. Did that explain why she became employee of the month for <laughs> four months in a row? <laughs> Real quick, yeah. Megan, so, Megan, what are you doing? Megan. Also, her name is spelled M A E G A N. Wait, which M-E- is E M A Megan Megan Megan. So you already or know is that Morgan, Morgan, uh, more like snobbin on some knobs. snobbin. So, uh, yeah, uh, basically if you work for any company or anything that is, you know, you're getting, your paycheck is from taxpayers dollars, you shouldn't be blowing people. Right. You just shouldn't be, you should just, you just shouldn't do it. Okay. So if I'm thinking of this, uh, so I'm, I'm the police force, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm, uh, we, this, this is just come to light for everybody. Mm. Uh, speaking of come to light i think this is starting to glow a little bit. <laughs> it's a it's, it's radiating. A ruminating. Yeah. um this is so good though the uh oh you're gonna mix it cold and warm well i don't want my cold 
monster to get you know room temperature oh <laughs> that'd be disgusting look i'm a bit if anything it's a I'm, it's a gee there gotta be ice oh, it's cold gurgling. it's gotta be ice cold no that was my stomach because <laughs> i know my stomach knows what's about to happen and you, you it'll it'll be a treat <laughs> In but like, that's that's the new slogan warm monster a tasty treat that you will soon become best friends with your toilet seat <laughs> because you're gonna okay so it that, looks like tea. Now it just looks like tea. It's it looks it's like got a, that, like it dark, looks like a black tea that yeah. you've left in the swamp for a couple of yeah. hours. So anyway, yeah, Megan Hall. So uh, if I'm the police force, mm-hmm. and I and this has just come to light that 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 Megan has been uh, sucking off all all the officers, mm-hmm. and I have a happy police force. Mm-hmm. Murders are going down. <laughs> Tickets are not being. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Murders are going down. But the numbers of times that pussies are being slayed through the oh, roof. Slay is slayed. Uh, um, so I would now need to recruit. Uh, you need to recruit more officers. Take advantage of this. Get I, your marketing I, department together. Right, yeah. Be like, listen, we'll blow they you need, away with our benefits. <laughs> they need to do some research and development, actually, yeah. also on the people that are already on yeah, the force. Because like, it's like, hey, how come everybody said when we did our survey that everybody's happier than yeah. ever before since, you know, Megan joined the force? And they're yeah. like, well, um, I don't know. Yeah. Do We've you res- love your coworkers as much as yeah. we do? Mm hmm. Man, a girl, this girl loves cops. Here's here's the sad part about this thing is that she's 21 years old. She's young. She's married. 21. She's married and married. She had been telling people that she was in an open marriage. Her husband's name is Jedediah. Oh, are you okay? I literally gagged in my mouth. I Why? I got a whiff of that. What? I that got is, a whiff of that. There's nothing hot. Wrong with that. Hot monster. It smells like hot monster to me. You know, that's actually what they called her on the force. Hot monster? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. Woo. That hot salami monster. Probably something gross. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, show the, show the camera. Go ahead. All right. Let's get a... Maybe oh. this is going to be part of the... Oh, it's... She, she's piping hot. You can see the snark. Yeah. Oh, you smoked it? Oh, my gosh. Okay. okay. So, we'll continue to talk about Megan as we go. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the, and so, where's so your cup, bro? Oh, it's right here. You, Aren't you, you going to have you some? Go, yeah, of course. I would I would never pass oh, up. Oh, you yo! Not, right. Okay, you there is no there is no carbonation. I don't think it's anymore. been boiled there's out. A little, there's a little bit. It looks you like. overcooked it. <laughs> it just went through the filter. That's good. Okay, all right. I want some for later. First you know? off, okay. Okay, now this now, thing is we both, at the bottom. We have both been baristas, so you know the right way to. I can see a little bit of the coffee crumbs. to examine taste. Let this new beverage swim across your palate. Yeah. Now, cheers. First oh, of all, cheers no, let's you, go. Sir. Let's go ahead. Let's let's take okay. five seconds first, of silence and let's see. Ready? First off, little 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 smell in the nostrils. Medicinal. It mm. does. It does kind of have a. It, it does kind of have like a chamomile. Like it does have a like a little a, bit of a like tea. This is medicine. Mm-hmm. This is medicine right. for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I can tell that there's a little bit. There's a little bit of. Uh, I'm I, I I've had a cold all day right. and this is this the, my parents are going to tell me that no 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 this will help but I'm not going to like it right yeah mm. okay so anything else you're well, gonna, you're going to jump in is it not I uh, want to say that well we got to take a say, sip at the same I time I want to say that there's like a smell of of like hate like this mm. hates this mm-hmm. hates being the way it is right 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 we're trying to bring a this could bring Evil? a whole new level of sophistication to yeah. um, to bros you know okay all, all right, right. Let's well see. let's do it. Ow! So, okay. I'll tell you right off the bat. Okay, no. A little bit of the coffee from the Mister Coffee made it through. So a little bit of well, that you would know rancid. You could tell the difference between earthy the two. bean kind of taste is still there. Okay, so hmm. there was a moment. There was a moment. Uh, <laughs> ah. Mm. There was a moment inside this that I thought I was kind of having an apple cider or something. Like there was a cidery See, kind of like the texture is there. It was kind of it's, like so it was kind of like someone was walking by and it was going, Hi, I'm cider. <laughs> like, okay, but the right. rest of it was kind of like and then kind of gave a you a gargoyle apple. threw up in my mouth. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? Mm. This reminds me of the time uh I figured out what tiger puke tasted like oh mm. no that uh it seems like it feels like a um like a like a gay club decided to make wassail mm. you know what this which tastes? is a which is a, again a right. christmas cider you know what this tastes like mm. this tastes like if somebody scooped 
at the end of summer if they hadn't cleaned the public pool water out at like the water park and they boiled that water and they gave that to us this is this is what that would taste like a little bit of chlorine oh. so you get a little bit of chemical a little bit of feet you get a little bit of feet yeah. in there yeah it's almost it it's kind of disgusting without the bubbles isn't it yeah so oh my tummy doesn't like it so we're taking investor now. I need another little last little swig of my cold monster. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you do have we, any? Do you have any cold want, monster? Do we, do we want to keep this no. on the brew? <laughs> okay. All right. No, so but no, but no, 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 no. You did that. But so how this, do you? How do you feel? This tastes like. Uh, ooh, I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready. To, I feel I'm like ready to punch holes through walls. Honestly, I'm zapped. I want a wife beater, and then uh, I want to have a motorcycle. But mm. like, but mm. like, I just want to soup up my vid- minivan when I drink this. Right. 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 Um, I want to talk faster. Okay. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, exp- I want to actually explain the Megan I wanna, story. I want to race. I want to race on some BMX bikes. I want to kick kids with me BMX bikes. Not like, I, like if I see a kid with a BMX mm-hmm. bike, I want to kick them. Yeah. Not, I want to like find yeah. a kid and then get a BMX bikes and then like mm-hmm. kick them. them. I want to buy, I want to buy a pickup truck and lift it. I want, I want to go do that. And then I want to go play. I don't know why I'm still drinking this. It, it's uh, probably because I'm getting like more energy now. I'm like because kind of, it's it's the it's I haven't the same, had an energy drink in a while. It's the same. Oh, really? It's the same um, kind of shock as a. Uh, do you feel like you're gritting your teeth more? Yeah, I feel like my feel joints are starting to lock up. Yeah, I feel tense. Um, also, I feel like this tastes like um, someone recycled their own dishwater and just oh. kept on washing their dishes mm-hmm. with it. Yeah. Um, there's uh. Yeah, there's a problem with this. Okay, now that this is the second time you've had it, what is your? Have you changed your mind? Um, in, oh! initially it kind of slaps you upside the face with the flavor. Yeah, which w- is a little bit of that coffee because the coffee and milk and energy drink together isn't very good. But now that now that I've started drinking it, I can't stop. Yeah, now it's I can't like stop. now that I'm holding it. Mm. It's like it's, it's been, been a cold it's kind day. Of a, it's been a cold. It's been a cold week. Sure. It, particularly, it's been drizzly. Yeah. It's been cold, wet, yeah. rainy, yeah. and on just a nice end of the day, piping yeah. hot monster. And now, uh, now that and I now that and now that we're on, we're we're, 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 we're doing the podcast, yeah. and now my mind's moving like five hundred yeah. miles. This a this, minute. Uh, a this, o- this almost feels like uh like my coworker cop nuzzling next to me in the back of uh, an yeah, SUV yeah. Mm. Uh, cop car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah my yeah. brain. Like we had just we're we're in the middle of uh of uh it's not called cordyloinus it's called um cunnilingus what are you saying no the, oh, the, that's the word that i thought of but i'm thinking of the word that's after when you're like mm-hmm. post cut it's it's cuddling but it's not like it's uh post coitus mm. yeah coit uh coitus sure. post coitus point coitus yeah mm. no, no no you have pre coitus coitus post coitus mm-hmm and now, um, now, how are your hands feeling? Because I'm feeling jittery now. I don't know. My hands are shaking more have than. Have you not had an energy, dude? I think no, no, no. I have more... energy drinks all the time, but whenever <laughs> it's hot, it just metabolizes that much faster, and you feel like I don't think that's how bucks. science works, though. No, 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 no. This is science. My okay. my hands are shaking we... more than Megan Hall's cheeks on a Friday night, <laughs> whether she's on or off the shift. You know. Mm. Seriously, my brain is my brain is jumping around faster than well, dude. I think I want to. I think I want to call into work and let them know that I want to do more overtime than Megan Hall. Mm. <laughs> nice. Uh, I want to. Yeah. Well, twenty one years old. Husband's name is Jedediah. Jedediah is the son of a pastor. You know what? And that's the bummer. That's the sad thing is that she was telling everybody that they were in an open marriage. Ooh, she was telling everybody that. Yeah, I don't think he was aware or down with that idea i don't want to put words in his mouth and but megan wanted to put a lot of other things in her mouth listen i i I know for a fact that Mm -hmm. uh if she said my husband and i are in an open marriage and they're like oh really what's your husband's name and she's like jedediah then be like you're lying you're lying (laughs) to my face Mm -hmm. you think that a jedediah is going to be uh, such a right. have an open mind towards uh, the new age relationship right. that yeah, yeah, has yeah. taken over the police forces yeah. across the country. Mm-hmm. Doubt it. So I think uh, the main thing that we need to think about is who is the actual hero of this story? I mean, did she really do anything wrong? Jedediah, I think. The sad thing with is, a he's name, not with he's, a name. He's sticking by her side with a he's name. He's too nice. Uh, with a name like Jedediah, it sounds like he deserves it. Oh, that's so sad to me. 
Wow. I mean, it, oh, you know why also this is making me feel like a million bucks? Because it has all the sugar in there. Woo! And I've been I've been I've been watching my caloric and sugar intake this month and man oh man oh man. I'm zapped. I don't know if it's because I like monster. This tastes I don't know if like, I like, like the cure for AIDS. What uh sure. Or it tastes like AIDS. I don't know. It mm. tastes like vitamins on if steroids. Somebody told me, if someone told me that this was a cure for eggs, I'd probably tell the doctor the I'll cure take my chances. For eggs? I'll take my chances. We, we, hey, you want to talk about eggs? We're not done talking about Megan. Or was that everything? Did you not do any research into this? No, I, I've been talking about it a lot. No, you, Okay. How many dudes in total? I think there's five, five and counting that are already fired. Do we know their names or does, do they, do we just go by their nicknames? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. No, I think there was like a officer Santiago. Hmm. Ramirez. Yeah. I think there was like a Jennings in there. Sure. Very generic cop last names. What do you think that like, do you think she was playing like fuck, fuck em bingo where she was just like trying to catch them all almost like she was just trying to make the rounds. I honestly think she just didn't know what a beat off cop was. <laughs> a beat no, cop. it's a beat cop. See? Yeah. 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 She's like, I just always wanted to beat off a cop. <laughs> You're like, mm, you want to be a beat cop? No, 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 no. I mean, if that's what they call it. <laughs> Putting your hair in a ponytail. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Honestly, First like, like pros, she, pros. she put her hand on the badge and took an oath, mm. right? Yeah. And then she put her hand on something else and she took it in the throat. Yeah. But she said, she said, <laughs> she said, I, <laughs> my, my, that's what she, she said. I believe she said under her breath, my, my goal is to protect and to service my fellow officers. Wow. She probably just thought that in the back of her mind. That's probably what it means. So, so pro, kind of props to the, listen, not, not props. She didn't, no, no she, props. Did, she didn't kill anybody who no, was no, no. undeserved. Right. She, in, she, I'm going to just go on a limb here. Mm -hmm. Improved morale. <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah. The, so you're saying that cops aren't blowing each other enough? Probably, uh, probably hmm. not. Like, listen did did some crimes did some petty crimes maybe got uh, uh were uh did they get away with some petty crimes while they maybe were doing the old um uh mm -hmm. good cop bad cop mm -hmm. and the. Uh, and maybe some some of them got away with it, but you know I think those that's a small sacrifice. There, uh, there's probably people that need bread. They're like the the the, the onesie twosie crimes. <laughs> probably can, people you, that I think need you can, bread. You can you can get away with it a little bit, uh, as long as you are less like officers are are way more likely to shoot innocent people if they're really tense. Sure. So you need that like release. They got firearms? So and what she, is if she probably just noticed that a bunch of the dudes were like I haven't shot anybody in a bit. You know what the slogan should be for their marketing department like mm. don't shoot rounds unless it's in Megan's mouth. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll let's workshop that a little bit. Maybe mm. maybe it'll be like, mm. maybe don't squeeze one off. <laughs> <laughs> Let Megan do it. <laughs> Let Megan. It, yeah. Um, Dude, kinda, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. her the chief of police. No, no. She's. Make, mm, Does no. the community feel she, safer? Then she's going to have to have sex with a lot more people. And honestly, that's. that's she doesn't of, have to. That's very taxing. That's very taxing Listen, on her. None, on of, her. The, none of the. And her, and her marriage. None of, she's still married. None of the information has come out that says that the. That she was forced to do anything. She sounds like she was a mm -hmm. willing participant in in all this and initiated. Mm -hmm. And if the if the officers of the law are, you know, maybe they interacted more with their with some, shall we say, post not clarity. If they interacted more with their communities in a positive manner, people are probably like, dude, Frank has been a great cop, cop recently. Like he's just got a pep in his step. He's less aggressive. Um, but like petty, feel, we petty feel, crime is up four hundred percent. But the cops are super, super that happy. Chill. Oh man! At least not all of them. Just all the ones that have been rolling on, you know, Megan's shift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, so Megan, how Megan, did they discover it? How did they discover it? Um, she told her husband what had been going on. She her husband snitched. Well, because here's here's what it's I like think. you're gonna have to tell your work, babe. No, no eventually she came home one night. And I imagine he was like, hey, babe, if you're not too <laughs> going in for that second step. I'm still, I'm still like, drinking it. I like hey, the energy, though. Yeah. Uh, it's the devil's piss. 
she I, th- I think she came home after a long shift you know they work those 12 24 hours you know and he's like hey babe i know you just got off work but i'm trying to just get off you know what i mean and she's like babe i just had a long day at work and he's like we haven't had sex in so long like what's what's going on she's like well i have something to tell you <laughs> stop you right there okay you haven't had sex in so long <laughs> And she, poor I just got off like, a shift. No, we haven't had sex with each other. <laughs> and he's like, "What?" <laughs> she's like, "Listen." <laughs> she, I, I mean, she spread her legs out <laughs> real wide, and she's just like, she like lights up a cigarette. He's like, "You smoke?" <laughs> she's just like, "Let me tell you something, Jedediah." <laughs> let's uh, let's talk, Jedi I've boy. Been, <laughs> I've been putting my life on the line and <laughs> cocks in the panty line. <laughs> And they're like, what? It's like, listen, I've been blowing, I've been blowing officers of the law, the long arm of the law. And <laughs> Why do you have to be so descriptive? <laughs> I'm a, I'm kind of a slut, Jedediah. Um, no, 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 I think it was probably a, you know, the worst night of that guy's life, and there was probably tears, and uh, you know, she was probably very, very sad, and the fact that he's staying by her side, she was probably, I, I made a big mistake. Over and over and over again. There, he, and he's like, who's the guy? And she's like, well, which one? And he's like, what are you talking about? It's like, there's more than one? She's like, oh, there's... I can count on one hand. She's like, he's like, that's not so bad. The guys that I haven't mm-hmm. fucked in my department. <laughs> he's like, but aren't there like 100 people in your department? She's like, well, you know how much I like blowing police officers. Do you think she's like... You know how they make a. You know how in the in the uh, in the cop community we in the detective community we have a kind of a joke where, uh, yeah, the man fell on a knife a couple dozen times. That happened to me, but mm-hmm. the knives were penises. So it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't just other like fellow you know patrol cops, B cops. There was also like supervisors were on this list of people, and also a detective. The world's greatest detective. Dude, no he, one. It's like Dude, he, word he, of her must have gotten around. I, yeah, of course. Like, well, the the word here's how she got popular very very quick. They went to what the internet is calling a girls gone wild the jacuzzi party, which we've all been there. Which we all we've all been there. A we've all been there. Gone, okay, first off, you've uh, been you've been in a jacuzzi with women and alcohol before? No, uh, pretty first wild. Off, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just I, I I I find it hard to believe that uh, they're still terming. Uh, girls gone wild, a term from 1999 here in 2022. <laughs> Good Are you year. going to the Good girls year. gone wild? This jacuzzi hey, party? Cops aren't the most creative people. I'll say it. Oh, okay, I'll say it. sure. No, no, that's, that's just, probably a lot that's of just what, Well, that, that was the most probably professional, discreet way of saying it. You can't just say young blonde gets, you know, railroaded, <laughs> railroaded in a jacuzzi. Turns out trains can also be jacuzzi, uh, submarines and jacuzzi. It's an underwater underwater train Take another step, an underwater monster, train it. yeah i know wow it's a quick rush i know <laughs> fast fast <laughs> deep decline no um yeah uh basically uh it doesn't matter if they're a cop married whatever yeah. if you have alcohol yeah and a jacuzzi and a lady's there and it doesn't matter if there's more guys there than women good times are about to happen yeah you uh yeah you make stuff, another batch yeah this stuff is gross but i'm gonna have mm. some so, she's she's getting... Oh, that is not good. She's getting her freak on. She got her freak on several times. Yeah. So, apparently, that was where they found out that she likes to party. Yeah. I imagine she got tossed around right. a whole lot. And then uh, inappropriate pictures were being sent on and off the clock. But I have a hard time... Uh, I have a hard... That's my tummy, not my... <laughs> that's <laughs> not wait, the coffee wait, 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 Be quiet really quick. Oh, now it wants to be quiet. Never mind. Sorry. Go so, uh, there... There has to be like word on the street. It's like, listen, if Megan approaches you, she gives the most sloppy toppy that yeah. you have ever seen. The gross, like, the gross part is that she's so young, and most of the pictures of the guys on the force that she's with are like in their forties and fifties. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, so pretty bad. Oh, now that I think about it, word of the word on the street may not have had to go very far. I don't think so. Probably just a bunch. If if it's a bunch of fifty-two-year-old dudes, they're like a young girl like you. Send a, send a picture of your penis to wants to to, to one, haul over there. Wants to arrest my. It's a bit of a bummer. So anyway, uh, what, like, what would you do in Jedediah's 
position. You Leave. found out that your wife was there. Like, would you be like, listen, you have a lot of stuff you have to work through. The whole country is kind of pointing and laughing at you. Uh, and I wish you luck. Listen, like, first off, peace if out. she's I'd like, it, first off, if she's like, I just have a lot of stuff to work through. I'm like, you've worked through enough. You worked all the, you worked through all you the stuff, through all the stuff, all the junk. Yeah. They, they, you had, you didn't bat one away. No. So I I'm going to go ahead and say, bye bye. Yeah. You the worst. Have some self-respect. Yeah. Be like, listen, <laughs> this explains why. You haven't been coming home. <laughs> I had so many different things that are in my mind at it's that like, one moment. You told me that you had a strep throat for three weeks. <laughs> you told me yeah. that you didn't like putting it in your mouth because it's icky. <laughs> like, yeah. I imagine yeah. a pastor's son is just like, we prayed about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, this guy, you know what? He was probably like, you know, maybe on our fifth anniversary, we'll finally, you know, do it doggy style. Meanwhile, she's <laughs> yeah, yeah. being tossed around like some slutty poodle and some some fucking dude's dirty jacuzzi. Yeah. So, Yuck. yeah, just you're like, I'm out. I right. clearly did not marry the person who I thought I was. Right. And you are now the town's talk of mm-hmm. where where so what where she, the boys can have fun. What does she do now? Like, does she stay in law enforcement? I like, think, I think she just buys a jacuzzi and like, like, goes do you know if she's staying nuts. in like the Nashville area or like? Is that police academy like actively hiring? Oh, I think they have way, mo- way more applicants than they I did like, uh, ever. They've had. had more. They've had more applicants in the last two weeks than ever before combined. The the marketing, the or the well renowned or the uh, wh- what would you the reputation of this one place has spread so far that there is probably other cities and other police departments that are looking at this now pressuring their officers to start looking up Hmm. to be like if it worked there maybe it'll work here maybe they didn't get trained maybe there was no maybe they there were like no sexual misconduct on the call but maybe they're maybe part of their training in police academy they were like listen straight up don't blow each other that's gonna be rule number one and they're like like we would ever do that and then okay I think that there is going to be so. This is the best thing that uh, cops could have asked for. You think so? We have we have since twenty twenty been in a state of cop like what how people perceive cops mm-hmm. has been low and demonized a little bit. Yeah. Just the, the just black how lives people, matter. Exactly, everything just. The the perception of cops has been in the gutter for the last two years. Right. And it's just nice to see that cops aren't just shooting rounds into black people Eggs. anymore. <laughs> exactly. Young white girls can get the rounds now, the too. Girls, the girls are going to save no, them. Here's, here's the fun so, part. The, also, the demographic of young white women applying to cops, to, to police officer positions, also going up. Oh, so yeah, what does that wor- tell you? What's the worst that's going to happen? People want to get paid to have sex now the, on the clock. Well, no. no one, okay. So... Okay, th- this is probably where it's going to go for her. I'm going to be just projecting into the future. Yeah. That maybe in the future, this is now just going to be as a much notoriety as she's accumulated. She's probably just going to start in OnlyFans. That seems mm. to make the most sense. Make a grip. Make a quick grip. Whatever. Get your back, girl. So the thing that mm. uh, the thing about it is there's now potentially going to be other girls that want to copy this formula. Mm-hmm. Join the join the police force. <laughs> Give a couple of HJs to some PDs, sure. you know, mm-hmm. and PDs, uh, police sticks. Sure. So, uh. um, the this will we're 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 gonna have a round and a surplus of some horny cops and some slutty. Um, uh, what are some what are some other terms for for police officers? Badges. What? Badges, yeah. Badges so some badges with. are going to be banging, you mm-hmm. know. Oh, sure. they'll be they'll, they'll be knocking boots. But um, the pigs, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll be porking. Yeah, there you go. The Fine. pigs be porking. See, now we got pigs are porking. Yeah. So you know who I feel bad for? The guy that was next in line that didn't get his. Oh, he's he, probably he had it on the calendar too. Like he was. He's probably like he's, like, like, he's like, you know what? Don't send the dick pic. Don't send the. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? 
sent. I'm horny. Bing. Sent it. And then he goes and he sits down on his couch, turns on the TV. Face In recent news, a local police officer, Megan Holt, he's like, oh, shit. No, 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 no. But then, but then he feels left out. He's like, wow, all these people were porking her. And meanwhile, I'm just like waiting around. Wow. Maybe I, I was waiting around for my next shift. Wow. She, and wow, she was just waiting around for the next shaft. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Clip it right there. Timestamp. 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Clip you, it. You, you waited for if your, this, best, this, your best line. If this doesn't make it onto the TikTok clips, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, you, so what? I mean, Megan Monster and Pork and Pigs. Maybe that's going to be the uh, mm, uh, the episode title. Yeah. I don't know why I'm still drinking this, but the energy that I'm feeling, mm-hmm. woo, it's coursing through my right, veins. Right, 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 right. Not unlike the semen coursing through Megan Hall. Oh, See, okay. she has she ingested. You're saying she ingested so much semen that it found her way from the inside of her stomach into her veins. No, that's not how that any Because that's works. a lot of cum. So you were an EMT. You know that. <laughs> I'm saying. Listen. I'm saying. All I'm saying is going to be a cop now. <laughs> Take my application. Yeah. Well, okay. So let's talk about eggs. Okay. Everybody's uh, sure. Why you not? guys, eggs, the egg market is really in the, in the dumps right now. It's, um pretty well known that eggs are on average more expensive than ever before turns out eggs you know chicken periods not inflation proof mm. they're about ten dollars in our area in some parts of the country they're almost thirty dollars that's crazy and to me i think people should still be like egging people's houses but only the rich are going to do that no 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 no, no. that just shows because before it was just like you know a major inconvenience or like wow like Somebody doesn't like me to egg their house. But now it's a real statement. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody egged Nancy Pelosi's house, she would be like, wow, I fucked up. Like, people don't like me. Oh. Like, it sends a real strong message now. Well, first off, no one has to do that to Nancy Pelosi's house to for her to know that people don't like her. I don't. I think she still thinks but she's below. I get the I get the point that you're making is that somebody... The the price of eggs is so much that if mm-hmm. somebody is going to spend almost twenty to thirty dollars on just wasting it on your door, mm-hmm. you must have done something so wrong. Yeah, like this isn't a cheap thing where they're trying to annoy you by having eggs. They're trying to make a statement. Yes, like people like don't this, need to leave murder notes uh-huh. or threatening letters. No. This just is toss a couple eggs. This at, would at be the front door. Like March, April of 2020, if somebody decided to TP somebody's house. Remember when toilet paper was. Not on grocery store. Short, gro- grocery store. Uh, 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 I'm yeah. having a seizure because of the hot monster. <laughs> you know, we weren't on the shelves anymore. And imagine, like, be like, "Wow, in this economy, somebody is TPing my house. Like, what the what what did I do? Like, I fucked up. Yeah, baby you know. Boy. Same thing with now being eggs. Okay, it's weird that it actually it's got darker. Guys, if you want to brew monster at your own workplace, people won't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, this thing is dark. It won't smell like coffee, but... Oh, I see a little bit of bubbles in there. I think that's the carbonation. Dude, you can see you can see all the uh, the coffee residue. This is a pre-used this thing. See, I think you gotta... See, you can't write it off because there is just too much coffee in yeah. here, unfortunately. Yeah, guys, listen. If you, did not, if you were not a fan of the Noisy Business Podcast, uh, this is a lot of what it is. Love a lot of weaving in and out of stories, but there's a through line of the monster energy. Monster energy. Yeah. But okay, so but you're you're right. What used to be a flex of like cheap products that can be launched at people's houses to just give them an annoyance is the deepest and most foolhardy, uh, uh not foolhardy, the most deepest form of threatening levels of like right. listen i'm gonna waste uh, uh it, it's not for the rich it's mm-hmm. it's for the threat right so i don't i don't know i don't i don't, I don't really know so what, what we're do you say do. we do so i say every my solution is everybody go on strike stop buying eggs because they don't have a super super long shelf life make the egg companies you know there's like three of them that own everything in north america make them eat their own selfish like proposal of 
jacking up the prices for eggs, still trying to maintain record high profits. And then they're just going to have to eat it. And guess what? Then they're going to be donating those eggs. And then we can go egg everybody that we don't like. Listen, bunch of eggs. They're going to be giving them out. Okay. They can't get rid of them fast enough. That's, that is the best. I think that's the best advice. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to really, um, pressure the marketplace. Right. And, and what Mm -hmm. you should definitely not do. No one should do this. Okay. Is steal eggs Mm -hmm. because one, that's free eggs. Sure. But here's the thing is people are be like, well, what's going to happen with prices like these? People aren't going to chase you if you're holding a bunch of eggs, because okay. if you drop them, then that's a wasted egg. Nobody gets it. Right. So if you just take the eggs, mm-hmm. you kind of are home free. Just kind of like. Just make sure you cradle it under your arm a little bit and then just book it because it, it, it so you can you're threaten saying, people. You're like, saying theft. No, and, no, 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 no. I'm saying nobody should ever do that. That's that's a bad idea. Here's, I'm, that's but, a, that's but awful. Some, right. But will it put pressure onto the companies and will you have then free eggs? That will be you the would, thing. Yes. That will also, be the thing. If you're going to be stealing something right now, if it's something, you know, to feed your yourself or your family, like eggs. Now is the good time to do it because turns out cops are so sleepy all the time that they're not going to chase you anymore. And <laughs> <laughs> they've, been, they've just been, they've been getting sucked off by so many female cops. They're just mostly, they're just, they don't want to talk about it. They'll talk about it in the morning. What apparently. a time to be alive. Have you ever been post nut ready to chase somebody for eggs? No, no, no. Nobody's no. going to do that. Particularly. Yeah. So specifically Nashville. Because here's go a, steal your, get, get yours. Go get yours. And I think that's probably the best way to wrap up the podcast. I in, think so. In, Did we have a sponsor for this week? No, we absolutely have no sponsor in this, in this video at all. At, this is not sponsored by Monster or because Mr. We Coffee. Because are, we are above shameless product placement, even if it's like a mighty fine L- no, product. Listen. Like Monster <laughs> Energy. <laughs> Monster Energy. I don't want to. Unleash the. F- I don't. Why does it say feast? <laughs> <laughs> Unleash the feet? That's what, that's what hot monster basically is right there. That's hot foot water. Ooh, yeah, we released it too. Yeah. So but, anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in next week for a brand new episode. We're probably not going to be drinking a hot energy drink. So I don't know if we're going to be doing anything like that, but we'll definitely be coming at you with some hot takes on trending news stories, and maybe something else is going to come up. Maybe we have some love life updates. Maybe we have some new business opportunities and partnerships that and we maybe can we'll find some sponsorships for the next episode too. We're gonna we're gonna have to go on the hunt. Yeah, but but until, until then, then, make sure then, you guys follow us on social media uh-huh. and wait for us next week. And always stay, stay noisy. noisy. I just added Megan as a Facebook friend and I'm just waiting for her to add me back.